Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to film a requested video. It is my makeup favorites high-end and drugstore of 2018. Since we're jumping into the new year, these are definitely products that I'll be taking with me. I've got here this big box of products and then kind of scattered along my desk here is even more. If you guys are interested in seeing the look that I'm wearing now, I did film a video for this. I'll leave that down below and then let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to start out with is like my skincare. There are a few things that are staples for me. I'm going to talk about today is the Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Eye Mask. I'm obsessed with these, you guys. I got some in my BoxyCharm and fell in love with them and then I decided to repurchase them. I used some this morning. I'm going to use some tomorrow. I'm going to use these next year. They're awesome. They look like this. They just go underneath the eyes. They're really nice, hydrating. It feels really nice when you take it off. You just pat in the extra. And that's it. Next thing for face that I want to talk about are a couple face masks that I've been loving. The first being, this is the Body Shop Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Night Mask. I've really been loving this. It. I'm about halfway done with it, but it's like this little jelly. And I thoroughly enjoy this especially since I do get breakouts often um, and then me being oily this really helps soothe all of that so if you guys haven't checked this out I would highly suggest that next face mask that I want to talk about I love this I've used so much of this and I got it on Amazon but it is the Aztec Indian healing clay I don't know if you guys have ever used this or not but it's really nice it's legit oops I just spilled it everywhere it's legit clay. I mix mine with apple cider vinegar when I use it and it really makes your face tingle. It says, fill your face pulsate. And like, it legit pulsates. And then as soon as I take this off, I notice my face is extremely red, but it only is like that for about half an hour. But dude, this shit is no joke. Next things I wanna talk about are oils for my face. I know that I've said before that I am really oily, but I've noticed that putting oil onto the face kind of helps counterbalance the oil that my face produces. So I have two here. This is a face serum. It is vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. I actually got this with one of my rollers that I'll be showing you next. And then I have the Ordinary um, Rose Hip Oil. I noticed that this really helps with my redness on my face, like my acne scars that I have. This really kind of dulls them down. And these are a nightly routine for me, as well as these two rollers right here. This is a jade roller and this is an onyx roller. If you guys haven't checked out rollers, definitely do it. I got both of these at Marshalls. Jade in general is like a natural cooling rock. And so when you use it, it's supposed to cool and depuff your skin. And the onyx roller, onyx is supposed to like pull purities purities is that the right term is to pull like all the gross shit out of your face basically and so I use both of these nightly if you're curious I would recommend doing that I really like it I've mentioned before my husband makes a lot of fun of me for using these but I notice a difference so what is so I'm going to kind of go in steps of like things that I would use um next thing I'm going to go into is facial primers the first primer I want to mention is the Professional by Benefit. I really love this. It's not so much like mattifying, but it definitely fills in my pores. It leaves a very smooth finish. I thoroughly enjoy this. So if you're on the more oily side, I would highly recommend that. I want to mention today is the Makeup Forever Step 1. It definitely does what it says. It smooths out all of my texture. It smooths out my pores. It's really nice. I like to mix the two of these together and use them as a combination because they're amazing check them out next thing that is a huge staple for me is the smashbox redness reducer or photo finish reduce redness primer i use this every day when i wake up in the morning i'll put on a moisturizer and then i will use this and if i don't want to wear makeup this definitely helps with all of the redness on my face i do have hyperpigmentation as well um, so this really settles all of that down. Sometimes I'll use this and then the jade roll on top and I notice a huge difference. So if you have a lot of redness, highly recommend this. 
Another primer that I have been obsessed with is the Farsali Unicorn Essence Primer. All of these are like sample sizes. This is all that I have right now or that I could find. But um, this is the Farsali Unicorn Essence. It comes with a little dropper. I'll show you like this. It has a little dropper. It's really nice. It has glycerin in it. And if you are curious to what glycerin does, it helps your foundation. It gets kind of tacky and it helps your foundation stick better. So that's why I really like this. Another thing for my face that I like to use is the Dr. Brandt Needles No More. Yeah, Needles No More, No More Baggage Eye Cream. It's an eye depuffing gel. I like to use this as well in the morning when I wake up. I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I wake up in the morning, my face is like swollen and super puffy. So I like to do anything that I can. You just take a little bit of it. You squirt it out on your finger and then you rub it in between and you pat it underneath your eyes. So I put this on prior to putting on like any moisturizer or anything like that, only because I noticed that it does leave kind of like a residue. So then when I put my moisturizer on, it kind of smooths everything out underneath my eyes. So Dr. Brandt is a great brand. These are things that I grab for like all the time. Next, moving on to the face, so like foundations and concealers. Let's do drugstore first. The first foundation that I absolutely love is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This is extremely full coverage. It's very mattifying, which I really like. Because I am oily, you guys are going to hear me say this a million times. You're oily, Caitlin, we get it. It does dry down in kind of like a matte finish, so be, be careful with this. You don't need much powder, um, and make sure you blend it out fast enough, if that makes sense. Like, don't let it just sit on your skin for too long. I work in sections with this foundation just because it does dry down matte. Another foundation or drugstore foundation that I really love is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, I really like this. It comes on like a little... comes on like a little paddle which is nice because then you can just plop it onto the spots that you need but this is really nice it's supposed to be um flashback friendly i like it because it's a satiny finish so the days that i don't want to be super matte i like i like to gravitate towards this more it's a medium to full coverage so i would definitely check this out as well and then the one that i've been using most recently that is drugstore is the makeup revolution conceal and define um, I've used this a few times and I really like it. It's very full coverage. It comes on like a doe foot and I've just noticed that it blends out really nicely. Like I said, it is full coverage. So if you guys are looking for something inexpensive, definitely check out all of those products. Next for um, high end foundation, one that I've been loving is the Too Faced Born This Way. This has a satiny finish. It is a medium to full coverage as well. And this is probably the dewiest of the foundation that I'll get. It's nice. It comes on like a little pump here. And you don't need much. This blends out really nicely. A little bit goes a long way. Too Faced has always been one of my favorite brands. Another one that I've absolutely been loving lately is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter soft matte longwear foundation this is really really nice the bottle is it's glass it's luxurious it's nice it comes in a pump which is nice this is extremely matte so if you're like wanting to pack on some makeup and then not move for the rest of the day i would absolutely check this out you can get this at sephora um again i would work in sections with this i would start on one part of your face blend it out move on to the next because if you put this foundation, I know I said with the L'Oreal Pro Matte that that dries down quick, but I'm telling you, you blink and this is dry. So like, make sure that you blend this out as soon as you like put it on your face. That's one. That's the one thing I've noticed with this. Next, moving on to concealers, we'll go back to drugstore. I've really been loving the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Um, this is like a dupe for Tarte. This is a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape, and I've really been loving these. I use the shade C2 and C6, and I just find that this is very creamy, blends out really nicely, it's super smooth, it doesn't set very fast, so then you don't end up with that cakiness under your eye. So these are amazing. It's like my only drugstore foundation that I'll use. You can get that at Ulta. As far as high-end concealers go, I like the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's really nice. This also um, is 
more on the full coverage side, which I love. I don't really like anything too sheer. It doesn't get cakey. Um, I have noticed it's more of like a satiny, kind of similar to the foundation, more of on the satiny finish, but I just bake with this under my eye and it turns out perfect. Another one that I love is the Tarte Tape Shape. I cannot find mine right now at all. I've looked everywhere. I have no idea where it is, but I love the Tarte Tape Shape. And I think that's why I love the Rev, uh, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define because they're so similar. Next, I want to move on to setting powders. I will start again with drugstore and then I'll move to high end. The first drugstore, I guess the only, actually, the only drugstore translucent setting powder that I like. Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I get mine in 05. It's the fair shade that they have. This is really nice. Um, it definitely sets it down, especially if you bake with it. It's long lasting. I haven't noticed flashback with this. This is similar to, I would say, let's move on to high end. I would say that this is similar to the Too Faced Born This Way ethereal setting powder this is one of my absolute favorites it's a staple for me i would say that this and the maybelline fit me are very similar in powder so if you were curious about this i would try that one out it's really nice but this is nice because it doesn't have like a white um all of these are in common they don't have like a white uh cast to them like they're not pure snow white so i like these they have more of like a yellowy tint i've noticed with since i am so fair that any setting powder that is just like pure white, I notice hardcore flashback and that's not a cute look. So lastly, the translucent setting powder that I'm gonna talk about that I've recently fallen in love with is the Pretty Vulgar, the Powder Room Matte About It. I really am enjoying this. It makes my foundation look so smooth after I use it. They are cruelty-free, so if you're into the cruelty-free makeup, absolutely check this out. As far as drugstore bronzer goes, my absolute favorite is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Clearly, I've hit pan. I use the shade Light. It has like a coconutty scent to it. I don't know. I love it. I think it's so nice. I don't go any darker than this just because I am so fair, but they do have other shades. So if you are darker or have like a medium um, or dark skin tone, they do have shades that will look nice on your skin as well. As far as drugstore also goes, I've really been loving this Pro Fusion Blush and Bronzer Palette. It's the adorable palette. I got this at TJ Maxx. It comes with all of these shades here. It's got blushes and bronzers and then two highlighters, but like these highlighters are too, they're way too dark for me. So I use these for like my contour shades. They're more of like a cool undertone. I find that using a cool undertone rather than a warm undertone looks better on my skin. If I use a warm undertone bronzer or contour shade, it just looks dirty on my face or I look way too orange. As far as high-end bronzer and contour go, I gravitate towards the Benefit Hoola bronzer. I really like this. I've hit pan on it, but this is also kind of a cooler undertone, but also on the warm shade as well. So. I do use a very small amount of this. This is like the darkest shade that they have of this, but they also do have a light shade. I've never tried that, but I'm curious. I should try it. I don't know why I haven't, but I really do like this. It blends out really nicely on my skin. As far as blush goes, again, back to this palette. I really love these blushes. I use mostly these two shades here. They're more of like a peachy, apricot-y shades and then sometimes i'll dip into these two but not really i really do gravitate towards these two another blush i've been loving is the laura geller um this is the baked blush in brighton baked blush in brighton in tropic hues and i really like this because it gives kind of a glow from within i wouldn't wear this on an everyday basis but when you put this on it gives you like a nice sheen like it's not too much i put this on top of like those peachy shades that i wear and it definitely does give you like that glow with within so if you are super matte and looking for a little bit of glow this is really nice next we'll move on to highlighters the first highlighter i'm going to talk about is of course don't judge me is my elf bake highlighter i believe this is in moonstruck this is on the end of its life so i'm i'm definitely going to need to repurchase this soon I should have probably repurchased this a long time ago, but I never think about it when I'm at Target. 
Another one that I really love is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. It's in the shade Blossom Glow. It's really nice. It gives you a super nice sheen. It's not too much. I'll show you there. Super subtle. It's not like bam in your face. So I like using this with a fan brush and just getting like a nice sheen to my face. Kind of like that glow with, within look. Last but not least, um, I have been obsessed with the Over Cosmetics Nikki Tutorials collaboration highlighter and glazed donut. This gives me so many feels. It's so pretty. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Let's see. If you want like a bam glow in your face, I would definitely check this out. That is so pretty. But especially for us like pale girls, this will definitely show up on your skin. I was a little worried that it wouldn't, but it's really pretty. Let's do eyeshadows next. Um, I have four palettes here that I've been absolutely loving. We'll go with my tried and true. This is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I have used this so much and I have beaten it to crap. Like it is dirty but it has all of these beautiful shades. These shades are so pigmented. She did such a great job on these. This is like a, if you're traveling and need lots of shades to go with you, this is definitely a staple. You can take it anywhere. It has all sorts of shades from just like an everyday, I need a, I need like a crease color to kind of give you a little bit more depth. If you want to do a natural eye, if you want to do a pop-up color, like smoky eyes, this is the palette for you. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. I know that they are now selling Morphe at Ulta, so you can check that out. The next palette I'm going to mention is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is the matte one. They do make a like shimmery one as well, but these are the shades here. These two shades are what I use for my everyday like crease color. It gives me a really nice um, depth to my eye without having to like pack on tons of colors. The shades are very pigmented. It is really nice. I stick to the more natural eye with this. I haven't really played with any of the other shades, but I really like this. I like the pigment of the colors um, and you can get this at Sephora. I found mine actually at Marshall's. So check out your local Marshall's too. Cause I know that they, at least with mine have been stepping it up with like high end makeup. And then lastly, one that I have absolutely fallen in love with and one that I will definitely be taking into the new year with me is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. These shades are so pretty. They blend out really nicely. They're very pigmented, but this palette is really nice. Anastasia Beverly Hills is just that bitch. Like they come out with the nicest stuff. Their eyebrow pencil is nice. Their liquid lipsticks are nice. Their eyeshadow palette I have now learned is extremely pigmented and blends really nice. Next, as far as like mascara and eyeliners go, I have been for eyeliners. I am absolutely obsessed with the NYX Retractable Eyeliner. This is in the shade Bronze. Like I pick this up every single day, especially when I'm doing like my more everyday look. This is a staple for me. I grab this every single day. Another eyeliner that I grab on a daily basis is this Steve Laurent, Laurent, Steve Laurent, I think is how you say it. Precision Tip Liner in Black. It's a felt tip liner. It's very pigmented. It's really nice, very precise. It gives you like the straightest line, very black. Dries down matte, which I love. And I've noticed that it's waterproof. It doesn't say that it's waterproof, but I get really watery eyes during the winter time. And I've noticed that, that um, when I make a wing with that, it definitely stays on, whereas like other, other brands don't as much. And then as far as mascara goes, we'll start out with drugstore. I do have lash extensions, so I don't have to put mascara on my upper lashes, but as far as like my lower lashes go, I really have been loving the, this is by L'Oreal. It's a voluminous, voluminous lash paradise. It's very black. It comes on this really nice wand. I'm all about my wands. Like I'm weird. Like I like the big fat wands like this like the big chunky ones. I really like this. I like the wand on it and it's affordable. Another one that I'm going to mention is um, my absolutely favorite right now. I'm almost out of it, which makes me really sad. So I definitely need to go repurchase it before I am out, but it is the Wonder Beauty um, Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. Again, it comes, uh, it comes in this cute little tube. It has one of those big fat wands that I like. Um, I like this for 
my lower lash line for sure. It makes my lashes very thick and full and it gives them length, which is super nice. What do you guys say? Do you guys say length or length? I'm from the South, so I say length, but let me know what you guys say if you say length or length. I'm curious. Um, as far as eyebrows go, there are two products that I love. Um, I only use the pencil and then I'll go in with like one of my Morphe palettes and I'll use I'll use like a taupey shade um, to fill in the rest. But I've been using lately the Catrice Cosmetics Slimmatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This is really nice. You do, you do go through them kind of quick. Um, there's not much of product, but they're very inexpensive. I know when I bought mine, Ulta, seems like they always have deals like buy one, get one, or like buy one, get one 50% off. I use the shade Light. Um, but it's it's very similar to me to the Benefit like brow pencil, like the formula of it and the way that it like just glides on. And then another staple for me I'm going to have to repurchase soon is the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks, the Instant Light Hair Brow Gel with Microfibers. This is really nice. I use this um, every day when I'm doing like my more natural look it comes on a little spoolie like this so not only does it set your brows but it also adds a little bit of length to them because of the microfibers so if you're curious definitely check this out and let's see as far as lips go um there are a few products that i've been loving um recently i've been gravitating towards the mac lip pencils this is in the shade whirl this is my absolute favorite um it's nice and dark so it outlines my lips and then i can go in with like a lighter shade on top um if you guys haven't checked this out or any of the mac pencils they're very creamy they're very smooth i would check that out sorry i'm going kind of out of order um, I'll just finish with the high end and then we'll move on to drugstore for these. But another liquid lipstick that I've been loving um, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. The formula of these are very nice. Um, they are very long lasting. I do notice with these that they are a little bit drying though, especially like right now. My lips, they've gone rogue. They're at the point where they're just, I can drink as much water as I want. I can put as much chapstick as I want. They're just, it's at that point in the winter time where like my lips just want to be dry and so I notice when my lips are really dry like this you can kind of see a little bit of like crackage we'll call it that crackage um but other than that these are beautiful on the lips another high-end liquid lipstick um that I've been loving is the MAC retro matte liquid lip color these are very nice they come on more of like a pointed applicator so it's nice because when you're trying to put the lipstick on it's nice to be able to outline your lines with going to drugstore lipsticks um i have been obsessed with the wet and wild mega last liquid cat suit liquid lipsticks if you guys haven't tried these definitely try them out they last forever like there will be times where i'm ready to just have it off and like i have to scrub my lips to the point where they're raw to get this off so they definitely are long lasting they come on a cute little doe foot which is nice um for putting the product on but don't sleep on wet and wild you guys their products are awesome another um lipstick that i've been loving is the nyx soft matte lip creams i really like the nyx liquid lipsticks as well uh, i can't find one of mine right now, but I just wanted to shout out NYX in general. Um, this is in the shade Copenhagen. This is so pretty. It's like a dark cranberry. It just is perfect for like the fall and winter time. But the formula of these are very nice and they're not super drying. They're very long lasting. So check out NYX as well, just because it's nice. The product is nice. And you can get that at Target, Fred Meyer, any drugstore, Ulta. Another thing I want to talk about is like a huge staple for me. I was just talking about how my lips get very dry and start cracking during the winter time. And I like to use the Vaseline Lip Therapy. I like the Rosy Lips one only because it gives me like a really cute pink tint to my lip. And um, this is very hydrating for my lips. So if you guys are looking for a good like chapstick to use I would definitely check this out I noticed with like the white chapsticks or any other chapsticks my lips are really dry like this it kind of leaves like a 
white residue and that is so gross to me like I hate that so I I definitely gravitate more towards this than any other like chapstick that I would use um, another thing that I've been loving and this is the last thing for the face is the morphe continuous setting mist it's really nice it comes in like a aerosol can I like the Mac fix plus but it's not something that I gravitate towards all the time because it's like a in your face and then you're like well shit if you get too much it'll leave like little dots whereas like this it's just like a continuous mist and it's so refreshing it feels so nice and I like to set my face with this I don't notice necessarily that it makes my makeup last longer but it definitely helps like everything settle and just look better this isn't necessarily like makeup but it's something that I've really been loving um this is the Sonia Kashuk quick clean dry brush spray so if you're like in a in a spot where you have used a brush in one shade and you're like oh, crap I want to use that brush for this shade this right here is so nice let me just show you guys let me find okay so here is a brush that I used today all you do is it's like this mist spray it now watch Mind you, the brush is um, stained like a burgundy color. I've tried and tried and tried to get that out, but that brown shade is like, it's as good as new. So um, if you are curious about this, I got mine at Target. I don't think it was that expensive either, but this is super nice. I would definitely check this out. And lastly, the thing that I wanna talk about the most is for my hair this is drugstore um this has been a huge staple of mine for i don't know since i stole my first bottle from my mom um but it is the not your mother's dry shampoo the one that i use um mostly is the plum for joy bodybuilding dry shampoo my scent is an orange mango i know that they do have other scents as well this is just the one that i gravitate towards just because I think this is the only one they have in like the Plump for Joy brand. And I, I need all the volume I can get. Like I have dry shampoo in my hair right now and my hair looks like it is sad. It's just sad. Next one that I'm going to mention is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. This is in Toasted Coconut and it smells so good. I like using this one for, so say I've showered, washed my hair and I want to curl it that same day. Since my hair is so like thin and fine, my hair doesn't necessarily like to hold curl that much. So after I blow dry my hair, I will go through and spray this all throughout my hair and just kind of like rub it in, like get some texture to it. That way when I curl, it definitely will hold. So if you're looking for a good, reliable dry shampoo, I would definitely check these out. But yeah, that is it, you guys. That is all the products that I've been loving and the products that I'm definitely gonna be taking into 2019 with me. If you guys have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, please feel free to leave a comment below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Ah! Ah, babe! Made a mess. You guys can see where I've stabbed my finger into it so many times trying to open. That is it, you guys. We are done.